Welcome back mga friendy. Kung bago lang kayo sa aking YouTube channel, please subscribe and click the tiny bell button para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga video. For today's video, pag-uusapan natin yung hindi pag-approve ni YT sa aking YouTube channel for monetization. Please keep on watching. Hindi ako professional YouTuber or blogger. Hindi rin ako big time YouTuber. Small YouTuber pa lang ako. Ang mga sasabihin ko ay pawang personal experience ko lamang. Maya sasabihin ko sa inyo kung ano yung email sa akin ni YouTube at anong sinasabi ni monetization page sa akin YouTube channel. So, eto nga yung email sa akin ni YouTube na Your channel is not approved for the YouTuber Partner Program. Learn how to reapply. Thank you for applying to the YouTube Partner Program. To evaluate your application, our team carefully reviewed your channel for any moto. Unfortunately, we found that your application does not meet our YouTube Partner Program policies. So, we cannot approve your channel for monetization at this time. So, ayan, hindi siya na-approve. We have parts in place that we believe support a healthy environment for advertisers, creators, and users, which means sometimes making difficult decisions like this one. Please go to your monetization page to read more about the specific policy that a specialist plug for your channel. So, kailangan pumunta sa monetization page para makita yung reason but hindi na monetize yung aking YouTube, YouTube channel. If you advise the content on your... If you adjust... Sorry. Adjust pala yun. If you adjust the content on your channel, please re reconsider reapplying. You can reapply to the YouTube partner program in 30 days. May 30 days ako para mag apply ulit sa YouTube pro Partner Program. What this means for your channel? You can, hindi ko alam basahin to. You cannot monetize as a result of this. You still have access to most other creator feature can and can. Makakapag-upload ako ng videos. Makakapag-edit or delete ako ng videos. And pwede rin ako makipag-communicate with your audience. There is no change to how your video are promoted in our search and recommendation systems. So, ayun. How to reapply? We can. We want you to have a chance to monetize. But to do that, you will need to make some adjustment to your channel. If you want to reapply, you should start by going to the monetization page to read and more about the policy that your channel violated. So, doon nga nakalagay sa monetization page yung violation ko. Then, review your review your videos against our YouTube Partner Program policies and our community guidelines. The next step is to edit or delete any video that violate our policies. Kailangan ko palang burahin yung mga video na na-violate ko ng kanilang policy. Please also note that the standard YPP eligibility criteria of 4,000 public watch hours and 1,000 subscribers will continue to apply here also. Kapag pala nag-delete ako, kailangan makuha ko pa rin yung criteria nila na 4,000 public watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. In 30 days, you'll see the option to reapply on the monetization page. Pagdating ng 30 days, Balik ako sa monetization page para mag-reapply for monetization. If you reapply, we will carefully look over your channel again and we will email you to let you know as soon as the process is complete. You can also check the status of your application the monetization page. So, yun. I-email ulit nila ako kapag complete na yung pag-process. Babalik ako sa monetization page para malaman kung pumasa yung pag reapply ko. Na tayo. Your application to the YouTube Partner Program was not accepted. 
Unfortunately, we found that your channel does not follow the YouTube monetization policies, so we cannot approve your channel application at this time. Please review our feedback below and make changes. Nasa baba yung review. What should you do next? Number one, review feedback. In our review, we found content on your channel that's not in line with the following guidelines. To monetize, your channel must comply with all YouTube monetization policies. Please review your channel make changes. Changes can include, include editing or deleting videos and updating video metadata. Ano ba yung video metadata? Ito yung title, thumbnail, and description. So, so yun kailangan kompleto. Ito yung na-violate ko, yung reuse content. Repurposing someone else's content without adding significant original commentary or educational value. So, ginamit ko yung nag-reuse content ako ng walang significant or original commentary or educational value dun sa video na ginamit ko. Number two, make changes to your channel and reapply after March 25, 2020. So, yun yung good news dito, yung pwede akong mag-reapply after March 25, 2020. So, may 20 days ako, 30 days ako para ayusin yung channel ko. If you maintain subscriber and public watch our eligibility, you can reapply starting from March 25, 2020. So, ito, naka-grade pa yung kulay. Pag March 25, pwede kong pindutin to para mag-reapply. Hindi nga na-monetize yung aking YouTube channel. Hindi siya na-approve for YouTube Partner Program dahil sa reuse content. Kung ako sa inyo, habang maaga, purahin nyo na yan. Yung mga reuse content. Kung hindi rin naman kayo nag- Rea gumawa ng reaction sa mismong video or nagkomentaryo na pwede nyo nang burahin dahil hindi rin kahit viral pa yan hindi kayo mamamonetize dahil sa reuse content wala ko noon na kapag nag reuse content ka gaya ng sinasabi ng isang vlogger na kahit hindi mo ipakita yung mukha mo ay pwede kang kumita hindi pala yun totoo Ganyan din yung isang napanood ko na sinasabi na i-edit mo lang ito, yung kulay, i-reverse mo, i-invert mo. Hindi na mapapansin ni YouTube na reuse content ang gaya mo. Hindi totoo yun. Alam ni YouTube kung ano yung mga sariling, uh, sa, sa, sariling gawa mo or sariling vlog mo. Nga nung kanta, I did my best but my best wasn't good enough. Nakakalungkot isipin na hindi na monetize yung aking YouTube channel. Pero dahil nandito na ako, magpupursigi ako, think positive lang, at maaabot din natin ang requirements ni YouTube. Mga friends, sana may napulit kayo sa akin, kaya dapat habang maaga, gumawa kayo ng sarili niyong vlog, or pag gumamit kayo ng release content, mag-comment, gawa nyo ng reaction yung reaction video yung video na kukunin ninyo galing sa kahit saan pa yan sa Facebook or YouTube pa man yan kailangan gawan nyo ng commentary reaction okay thank you for watching friend mo to friend sana may napulit kayo sa akin kaya dapat habang maaga gumawa kayo ng sarili nyong vlog or pag gumamit kayo ng reuse content mag comment gawan nyo ng reaction yung reaction video yung video na kukunin ninyo galing sa kahit saan pa yan sa Facebook or YouTube pa man yan kailangan gawan nyo ng commentary reaction okay thank you for watching friend mo to